Today I'm going to show you how to create an AI distraction system where you can throw an item and make enemies investigate the sound while you slowly walk past them. Alright, so we are going to create the enhanced input. This will be used to distract the enemy. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. Now you want to go back to input. Now open this up. Now you want to add a mapping. Now add your distraction input and apply the button you want to use for this input. Now we are going to create the blueprint for the distraction item. Open that up. I'm just going to be using a sphere for this tutorial, but you can obviously use a different model. Now turn on physics for this object so that it can be thrown. Now enable generate hit events. This will enable the event hit node, which will allow the ball to make a noise when it hits the surface. Get this not equal to node. And if the actor that the distraction item hits is not equal to the player, then you want this branch to be true, and if it is true, then you want to make a sound happen once. Get this report noise event node. This node will report the noise to the enemy. The noise location will be the hit location, and then the instigator will be the player. Let's create the enemy blueprint. Open that up. Now we're gonna add the skeleton mesh. Change these values. Delete these nodes. Create a custom event and we're gonna name it patrolling. And then we're gonna set our timer by event. This node will be the delay between each patrol. Now drag off the event and create a custom event. And we are gonna name it start as this is gonna be starting the logic. I'm going to change the time to 2 seconds so that the enemy will have a new patrol path every 2 seconds. And don't forget to enable looping so that the logic can repeat. On pawn, we are gonna reference the self, which is the enemy. And then on destination, we want it to roam freely and completely randomly. You can play around with the radius, but I'll be using 500. And then the origin will be the actor's location. On success, you want the enemy to start patrolling again. Now get this event begin play. So we want the enemy to start patrolling when the game starts. Now get AI perception. Now we are going to work on the enemy hearing state. On senses config, you want to add this AI hearing. Make sure you enable these three boxes. Now click on target perception updated. Let's move this down just so you have more space. Now you want to break the stimulus. If you hold B and left click, you can get this branch or you can just search for it manually. If the noise is successfully sent, then this branch will be true. And on true, the enemy will move to the location of the sound. And again, pawn will be self. And destination will be the stimulus location. Double click on the wire to add this reroute node to be more organized. And on success, you want to get this delay node so that it can go back to patrolling. Now go back to the timer by event node, then promote this into a variable, and just name it patrol timer. Now go back down, and move this aside. Now drag your patrol timer into the graph. When the enemy hears the object, you want to pause the patrol event. And on success, you want to unpause the patrol event. Now you want to set the enemy's walk speed. Now drag your enemy into the world. Get this nav mesh volume. This is so that the enemy will have some sort of navigation path. Now press play and test it. I just opened a discord for our community. It's a welcoming spot to connect, share your journey, ask questions, and just enjoy the game dev grind together. Link is in the description. Now let's create the animation for the enemy. Now click on your skeleton mesh. Now open it up, click on horizontal axis and give this a name. The maximum axis value is the max walk speed of the enemy. Change smoothing time to avoid choppiness in your AI animation. I recommend a low number. Now search for your idle animation. Now drag it to the beginning of the timeline. Now search for the walk animation. Now drag that to the end of the timeline. If you hold control and drag along the timeline, you can actually see the blend between the animation. Now save it. Now we are going to create the animation blueprint. Now click on your skeleton mesh. Now open that up. Now drag your blend space into the graph and connect it to result. Now you want to promote the speed into a variable. Now open up your event graph. Now you want to get velocity node. 
Then now hold get all and drag your variable to set it. Then connect the. All right. Now hold all and drag your variable to set it. Then connect the vector length to the input of the variable. Now compile and save it. Now open up your enemy blueprint. Now go into the viewport. Now add the animation blueprint to the enemy. Now search for ya yeah and disable it. Now go to character movement and enable orient rotation to movement. This will allow the enemy to rotate smoothly without any choppiness. Now we are going to set up the throwing function. Open up your player blueprint. Go into your viewport. We are going to add a sphere as a reference for the throwable object. Just position the sphere to your desired location and then rescale it. Turn the visibility off and turn off collision so that the object doesn't cause bugs for the player. Now open up your event graph. Get your enhanced input that we made at the start of the video. When the input is pressed, then you want to spawn actor from class and then spawn your throwable blueprint. Now you want to get your sphere reference and then get the world transform and connect it into the spawn transform. Now you want to get this impulse node. This will be the node to launch the object forward. Now you want to get your first person camera. Get world rotation. Then you want to get the forward vector. Then you want to get this multiply node. Right click this pin and then convert it to a float. This multiply node is the strength of the throw so feel free to mess around with the values. Now press play and test it. That's going to be it for today's video. I hope you learned something new and if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment with your thoughts or questions. I'll catch you in the next one.